While we're waiting to get ready, let's get a chant going. Let's do Vermont will fight for immigrant rights. 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 Vermont will fight for immigrant rights.
that I am an immigrant from Africa, from the country of Libya. People are here from all across Vermont today for this very important issue. Let's be clear that this issue is about racism. This issue is about family separation. And this issue is about violence. Today is not about opinions. It's not about a discussion. It's not about a debate. Because human safety is not a discussion. Human safety is not an opinion. You can't have an opinion about human safety. <laughs> about human rights. <laughs> the people in this building are tasked to serve and protect everyone in this community, including those who travel through. <laughs> Thank you. 
to our next speaker, we want to let people know that there is going to be a sign-up sheet going around the crowd. It's a way to get involved with Community Voices for Immigrant Rights. This is not the only effort or campaign this group is working on, and we need all the support we can get. This is what local grassroots activism looks like, and it's how change happens. Please, there's a clipboard going around. Our next speaker is Brian Clifford from Pop Watch. Please make him feel welcome. Hi, everyone. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight on behalf of BTV Cop Watch. Uh, we stand here in solidarity with immigrants who are such a vital part of our community here in Burlington, in Chittenden County, and throughout Vermont. I want to take a minute to acknowledge the fear, pain, anxiety, and frustration that people are suffering at the hands of ICE and Border Patrol. Our thoughts are with everyone impacted, and I'm hopeful we can find a way to show up for you in a meaningful way moving forward. I'd like to thank the organizers at Community Voices for Immigrant Rights, Nomad Pali Migra and Micro Justice for doing the important work of building on Vermont's fair and impartial policing policy here in Burlington. <laughs> I'm hopeful that we can make an impact at some point whenever they take up this uh, vote. Um, just <laughs> we just send a clear message that immigrants are welcome in this community. But I do know that what happens you know that we can't rely solely on what happens in this building behind us to solve our problems. <laughs> at the end of the day, we don't have a criminal justice system that's practiced at holding the police accountable for much. We've already seen too many instances of law enforcement agencies apparently disregarding statewide FIP policy. We haven't been able to trust the Vermont State Police. We haven't been able to trust the Chittenden County Sheriff's Office. And I'm not ready to trust the Burlington Police Department. But I do trust us. I trust that we can step up, organize ourselves, and get out into the community to provide oversight in real time. Yeah. Anyone on the phone can do this work. Yeah. If you'd like, um, if you're interested in doing that work and you'd like some uh, company, you can please reach out to uh, myself and uh, I don't know if anybody else in the crowd is wearing this PTV Cop Watch hat, but we are on Facebook, we're on Twitter. And we have a training coming up on March 2nd, and which is a great way to get involved. And if uh, filming the police isn't your thing, we have a lot of stuff for people to do behind the scenes. If you're interested, please reach out. Thank you all so very much. What do we want? Immigrant, Immigrant rights. rights. When do we want them? Now. now. CIO. He is sick and not able to be here, but Laura is going to read it on his behalf. On her behalf. Thank you, Ashley. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm Laura Mistretta. Uh, I've also been an organizer with Community Voices for Rooted Rights and Nomad Fully Migra of Burlington for the last couple of months. I'm um, really excited to be back in town for tonight. And uh, hopefully be back in town when they actually bring this up into the council. <laughs> All right. So this is, again, um, a, a, a message from Tristan, the vice president of Vermont AFL-CIO, uh, one of the largest labor unions here in Vermont. So the Vermont AFL-CIO is proud to stand in solidarity with our brothers, sisters, and comrades in the fight for justice for immigrant workers in our state. We take enormous inspiration from the bravery demonstrated by members of Migrant Justice who have shown that it is possible to organize and win under the most difficult of circumstances. When major corporations like Ben and Jerry's wouldn't back them up, the farm workers have organized, mobilized, rallied, made noise, and refused to back down. Their fight has
has strengthened the ability of all workers of all backgrounds throughout this state to organize. So, we, su we support this demand they have placed before the Burlington City Council. No collaboration between the police and ICE. When we say end all racial profiling by the police, we mean it. That's right. That's right. No one should ever have to worry that a routine trip to a health clinic or the grocery store will end in deportation. Yes. But that is exactly what this Poli Negra collaboration means. The maintenance of a climate of fear aimed at isolating and disempowering immigrant workers. We reject this climate of fear. All immigrants are welcome in our state and in the labor movement. We recognize that an injury to one is an injury to all. <laughs> On the flip side, we also recognize that a victory against racial profiling and the scapegoating of immigrants is a victory for all workers. <laughs> no matter where we're born or what we look like. We thank Migrant Justice for demonstrating that it is possible to fight for dignity and better working conditions. And we pledge our solidarity for this and all other fights of working people standing up for equality, livable wages, and humane working conditions. Obreros Unidos jamás será vencidos. The workers united will never be defeated. 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 is Rosie Alfaro, an organizer with Migrant Justice, and Will Lambda will be interpreting. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Rosie Alfaro, y soy parte del Comité de Coordinación de Justicia Migrante. Hello everybody, my name is Rosie Alfaro, and I'm part of the Migrant Justice Coordinating Committee. Estamos agradecidos por todos los que estamos acá, a pesar del mal tiempo, del frío y de la lluvia. Sabemos que todos estamos por algo y queremos lograr algo. And we're so grateful that all of you are here tonight, that we're here together, despite the cold and the poor conditions. Thank you for being out here tonight. Estoy representando a la comunidad que no pudieron estar acá, muchos de ellos por el trabajo y por otros motivos. And I'm here representing a community that could not be here tonight. Many of them because they are working on farms in this moment. Estamos aquí por el motivo de que queremos exigir a la ciudad de Burlington que respeten la política de no más polimigra. And we're here because we demand that the city of Burlington say no más polimigra, no more collaboration between police an immigration agent. Queremos que la ciudad de Burlington apruebe la política para ya no poder vivir con el miedo de poder ser arrestados. And so we're calling on the city, we demand that the city pass the no más polimigra policy so that we no longer live in fear of being detained. <laughs> Queremos salir de nuestras casas sin el miedo y el temor de poder encontrar a policías y poder ser arrestados. We want to be able to leave our homes without the fear, without the terror that an encounter with a police officer will result in our deportation. Right. Ya no queremos más arrestos por culpa de policías. Queremos vivir sin el temor y sin el miedo. Queremos vivir tranquilos. We want an end to arrests and deportations caused by police. We want to be able to live in peace and without fear. 
Nuevamente agradezco a todos los que estamos acá por poder estar en este lugar y estar todos unidos en esta gran lucha. Sabemos que todos unidos lo lograremos. So once more I want to thank each and every one of you for being out here tonight and for being in this struggle together because we know that when we are united we cannot be defeated. Se puede o no se puede? Sí se puede. Se puede o no se puede? Sí se puede. Se puede o no se puede? Sí se puede. Thank you. 